Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and we're playing The Long Dark. We just crashed with our plane and uh, we got separated from Astrid and we are trying to head our way back up to the plane wreckage and it's actually there. It's really cold so we need to get a fire going I think. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. And uh, no, I guess not. So search for Astrid. Okay, here's the prop. And we got some sticks. Let's grab some of these. Okay, it looks like there's plenty of things here. Cloth. Thank you. Oh, okay. I've been looking for you. Let's grab that. And we have more things here. Bedroll. This will come in handy. Antibiotics, bandages, bandages, painkillers, and antiseptics. We we got burned, right? Since we yeah, we have burns. So that or that. So I guess we. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's that one. So let's use that for our, our right hand. And let's use some painkillers. Is that it? Yep. We are freezing, so we need to get warm. Let's Astrid's get... back. Crunchy stuff. Ah, oh, please, mittens. Antibiotics and okay, that's the special case. Hmm. Locked. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Oh, me neither. So, looking for clues. Can we find anything around the wreckage here? Okay, so is this... Yeah, it was down there where we uh, woke up after the crash, I guess. So, let's see if we can get around here. Okay, it looks like there is something here. Let's grab some sticks. Cloth. Yeah. Yeah, let's break down this. We need the wood. Hey, what's that? Down west and wool socks. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking let's let's start a fire here. Could be a good thing in the corner here. So let's place it there. Fine, start the fire. And I'm thinking if we add some fuel on there, and then we could probably rest for an hour or so. Come on, come on. And then the hypothermia will be gone. Let's well, just see. Thank goodness for that. If we have the clothes on us, that's it, clothing. Yeah, mittens is on, the socks is on, and jacket is on, so that's good. So let's see if, uh, add fuel, we want that one, add fuel, okay, let's get warmer, let's add, we've got five left. Let's see how warm. Is it like 18, 20? Okay, it's still for 18. Let's add one more. It's over 20. And then we use the bedroll, I guess. We place it next to that. And then we sleep for an hour. 
and then we see if, if we're warm enough to continue. Okay, hypothermia, risk healed. So let's pick that up, and I guess it will burn for another couple hours, so we will just keep on going. And it looks like, yeah, there's a crate up there, so... She definitely passed through here, and in a hurry. So, I guess we're going this way, and grab some sticks on the way. Can I? I have to break it down. I, I thought I could like, bring it with me and maybe break it down later. Find and equip small stones to throw at rabbits to stun them. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, how are more stones down here? So let's... If I equipped it... Let's see if we can knock some... That one. Okay, do it. Now I have them cornered. I can't. I really suck at this. Let's do another try and then we will wait. Okay. Yay! I got him. No, come on. He woke up. Okay, so you need to be really fast to grab him right away because they just knocked out for a tiny bit what's this someone's been here recently could it have been astrid it could have been okay so someone chopped off that Okay, here is one. No, I missed that one again. So, oh, there is no way to aim. So it's really hard. But let's see. I guess we're going this way. So let's see if we can... Oh. <laughs> okay. Astrid. Oh, father. We... Where did you go? There is no panic with food. As a jet, but maybe soon. Okay, there is something down there. I don't think I wanna say okay, is that a wolf? I guess we can Is that a wolf? Avoid my wolf distance whenever possible. Oh, what's Whoa. that? Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Let's come down here. It looks like it's getting darker. Grab some stones, and then it looks like we can't go in that way, so let's head for the tower. Now 
rocks or stones. Okay, so here is a song. Did I go down here? Now it looks like a dead end. So let's head towards the tower. Another sign over there. What's this? Great, a town. Maybe I can find help there. Yeah, there's houses down there. Oh shit! Oh. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Painkillers, that's what okay. Let's head down here and see if we can get to the town. Chimney. Yeah, okay. That means someone's home. Investigate the house. Hello? Anyone out there? Yeah, I, oh, there is another one. It's dead, right? Frozen solid. What happened here? Yeah, it doesn't look... It looks... This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Okay, so he's probably been shot here and then went down to die there. Is awesome. No, actually, it was empty, right? I would be. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. Hello? Anybody here? Oh. It's really dark in here. Well, let's see. Oh, I'm. I'm kind of scared about from that weapon there. Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy <laughs> shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make 
The wrong move say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. So, should we ask who are you, gun or town? Yeah, let's ask who you are. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So I should call you. You should call me Grey Mother also. Well, let's ask about the gun. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble. <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Bad men? Who are the bad men? The men. They, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. Okay, hurt. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with the town. Where are we? Milton. No. Forgotten town, deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others, like a dream. Let me think, let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. Okay, empty. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. Smoke. 
You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk. Tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. <laughs> On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do after the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. Okay, what's Lily? That's interesting. So, let's see. Way out. Okay. Well, any idea how we can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. Okay, so let's see it for supplies. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can. But I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Okay, so we're into Chapter 3. So let's see. Mainlander. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland, an outsider. You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? Okay, so let's start with others. What really happened here? It seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or... Just drive out. The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. 
Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it. Possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Yep, let's see. Voices. Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? The memories are gray, misty. I'm tr trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Okay, let's see about the power. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna head to the gas station. Let's see the map. We are here. And here is the gas station. Okay, so we're gonna head out there, but I think we will do that after we we will probably sleep because it's dark outside but it's time to make a cut in the video so please come back for the next one when we take a nap and then head towards the gas station thank you very much for watching see you next time bye, -bye.